Let's take a look at the mole ratio here. And we're talking about methane, CH4, and oxygen gas, O2. So we want to use the mole ratio to figure out some stoichiometry problems. First thing we need to do when we work with mole ratios, balance the equation. So we put a two here and a two here, and the equation's balanced. Need help with that? There's a link at the end of this video. We can also assume that we have a one here and here. It's not written, but it's assumed to be there. This gives us the ratio. So when we balance the equation, what we're finding are the ratios between all the substances involved in the reaction, the CH4, the O2, CO2, and H2O. And we can use this to solve those stoichiometry problems. So say you're given 0.71 moles of methane, and you wanna know how many moles of water you get. We'll call that X. So we can see we're doubling. We go from one to two, so we would just double our moles. That would give us 1.71 four two moles of water. So you can just reason it out quite often. You could also think of it as a ratio like this. 0 0.71 is to one as X is to two. And when we solve for X by cross multiplying, we get X equals 1.42, same thing. Those are two quick ways you can do it. But your teacher probably wants you to use mole ratios like this. So we'll use some different numbers up here. And these are just numbers I've made up. So in this case, we have 1.6 moles of carbon dioxide. We wanna know how much oxygen we'd need to combust here with this methane to get 1.6 moles of carbon dioxide. Again, it's a one to two, so we need to double this number and that would tell us the moles of oxygen. You could also set up a ratio like this and figure out X, that would give you the same answer, 3.2 moles of oxygen. If you set it up with conversion factors, that would look like this. We have our 1.6 moles of carbon dioxide. We multiply that by a conversion factor. We have carbon dioxide on the top and the bottom. That'll cancel out, leave us with moles of oxygen, 1.6 times two moles of O2. That gives us the very same answer we got before. So that's a few ways you can use the mole ratio to solve these stoichiometry problems here with CH4 and O2. If you need help, there's a link at the end of this video all about mole ratios. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.